Hello, welcome to EC's workshop. Hope you enjoy my videos. Well, I just got back from the from uh, Western Auto and got my parts from my for uh, my pressure washer, Bridge and Stratton 16, six horse. Six horse, six and three quarter horse, uh, Bridge and Stratton motor, Craftsman thing. As I got back from there, here's the part number for it. Well, there's all kinds of things you have to ask for. The, is it automatic choke? Is it, uh, uh, is it some other type of choke? Is it a pump system? Carburetor and all this stuff. You know. I told him, man, it's, a, it's got a manual choke on it. There's no pump to it at all. You know, you see? There's all kinds of questions they kept asking. For it. So we're going to take this off. To, oh, and uh, we're going to finish it up today, and I mean now, and this afternoon, and get her done. Man, I had to hunt down the number for it on it, and uh, it was hard to do. Finally found a number. Man, but if that rubber piece sets up there where it sets, it blocks, you know, it wore off the last three numbers. On the thing, hard, almost, almost, you just barely can't make them out. I took a, I cleaned it up best I could with some emery cloth. And, uh, not emery cloth, though. Emery cloth. One of these pads. Cleaned up best I could. And turned around and, uh, Put me some black ink on it and wiped it off. I was hoping the black would fill in the hose. But as you can see here, those those numbers there are almost gone. You barely can make them out. You couldn't make it out until I put the black on it. But the hood, that plastic hood sets up here and vibrates and rubs it off. So we're gonna get busy on this thing, get it put back together. I'm gonna have to get the camera set up. So we'll bring you back. After I get the camera set up. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I picked it up and set it on this table. I'm tired of bending over working on anything, so I got it set on this table. I think it's going to stay. It looks like it is. The tire are wedged on each side, so I think that's going to keep it in on place. So now I'm not going to be sitting down on the ground working on this thing. So uh, here we go. We're going to get busy. Like I said, let me set the camera up. Okay. Let's see what I got in a box of stuff here. $17 for this kit. Holy cow. It's got a mess of stuff. Huh. Because it had instructions. Look at that. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Hope it didn't come with instructions. It's a stuff. Huh. Because it had instructions. Look at that. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. Hope it didn't come with instructions. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of instructions. Okay. All right. Gaskets, rings, screws, metal seats and stuff. Got a mess of stuff in here. Alright, so let's get the carburetor off. And then we'll start working on that first. Okay, here we go. Right there and this thing here. So I'll just take those two screws right there, 10 millimeter. Everything in the world is 10 millimeter. Okay. There's where well, that's that drawer. So we're gonna work out of this drawer today. I gotta get a ratchet and a 10 millimeter and an extension. 
out of here. Let's see what I can find. There's the ratchet. There's the extension. And you know it. There's my 10 millimeter. Most of these right here are 10 millimeter because you're always losing 10 millimeter, you know, sockets. So Dave needs some, but I got me one right here. Go back over here and go to work. See those screws up in there? See those bolts right up in there? Right there's one right there, and there's one right there. I got to get them loose to take the carburetor off. Then I got to loosen this stuff here. Got a little spring right there. Got a little spring right there, and then this piece goes in here to cover it. I think if I get those there loose and get the cover out, I can swivel the cover out because that's got a little, little crank to it to get set in there. Then this right here, pop, it comes right off, you know, just drop down and it'll come all off. So we're going to get busy. And we'll catch y'all on the backside. Oh, I, can't, I moved camera around. I got a camera right there watching me. So we'll just see how it's going to work. You're watching me from back here. From behind me. So you're watching from behind, so. Okay. Ah. Ain't no 10 millimeter, man. Ah, what's, what? Put in a pile. There's one. Let's see if this will work. There you go. That's what it was. Three-eighths. I got it. It's a three-eighths. We'll get this one halfway loose. And I'll go over here and get this one. Oop. I'm going to have to put this in here. Give me a little bit more traction. There you go. Get this thing running. Got some stuff I gotta do. I'm gonna pressure wash the bed of the truck. And uh, I'm gonna pressure wash the bed of the truck and then I'm gonna put some mummer all on it. Check this out. Here's a hack. Alright, you got a screwdriver, you know, you can got these things. They come in all your sets when you buy a new tool set that goes down to a quarter inch drive. Just a little like an old screwdriver, and you know, square on the end. You put your ratchet on there, you know, your socket on there. Well, you, you got something that you can't break loose. Take your old trusty old ratchet. That's what this hole in the back end's for. There. Put in there. There you go. You got some leverage on it. It's out of work. There you go. Let's see what's going on right there. Okay. Now we circle here. Oh, look at that. It come right off. We're good now. I got this part off. I can work on this. I got to remember to replace that old ring back there. No, it didn't have a gasket. Don't guess a gasket work. No, they don't need a gasket back there. It needs a gasket here. See how that, see how that gasket's on there? Can you see how that gasket's on there? It's got that piece there. Got this little hole right here. Got to make sure we put it all back on the same way. I photograph memory. Let me twist my ear and take a picture of it. I photograph any memory. There you go. Got me a picture of it. Now I know how I do it. Like now I need another table. Set this on. Ooh, it's hot in here. <laughs> I need me another table to work on. I'm going to find me something here in a minute. I'm work my carburetor cleaner. Put it over. Is it? That's all I do. Well, it's over. Alright, I need to turn the compressor on and clean up. Alright, let me slay this right here. Leave that sitting right there. We're going to 
take the carburetor apart. Now, we got the carburetor here. This, one. this camera, it does it. Yeah. Close ups. Okay. Here we go. We're going to try to set this up over here. What we're going to try to do. See what y'all can see from there. I haven't got no zoom. I need a my other camera. Well, I need. Okay, here we are. Now, I get this. I think it's a half inch. There you go. All right. Okay. Take that screw off right there. That bolt right there to take the bow off. And try not to lose everything like I just did. Drop it and lose it. Plus, yeah, this thing has got to be stayed clean. When it wasn't, when I had it on here before, when the poor I took it and tried to work clean it, try to use it, I took this off, looked in the bow, and it had gummed up in it. And this right here was so gummed up. Nothing would pass through it. It's got a hole right there. It's got a hole right there that goes through here and meets these two holes right here. Right there. And meets them two. There one on this side, one on this side. That's how gas, gas goes through here, sucks up out of the bowl, and goes up this and goes up into the carburetor up into the carburetor through that hole right there. If that is clogged up, you ain't getting no gas. And most of the time if that is clogged up, now them two holes down there was clogged up. So you know the pressure works is around this house, they only get used once a year. Now I'm not gonna have gas in. I'm get my towel, paper towel to clean up. Get the fan on turn for <coughs> Wish you could have music, but you can't have music. Oh man, that is so stuck up. Look at that. That won't even move. Well, it won't. Jimmy, crickets. I need one of those pliers now. Alright, we're going to move everything around just to get some of those pliers. Don't you have some? They need no pliers. Okay. I need mirror something. Did that right there work? Okay. Keep out of my small ports. <laughs> Keep out of my small ports here. Oh, that needle is stuck, son. Oh, wow. Bust that plug, that's for sure. Dude. <laughs> what the crap is in this thing? See these things, full straws right here. Man, I keep that good for everything. A lot of stuff, a lot more stuff. But you always wind up losing them. I do.
thing is so dry rotted on there. Dang. Look at that. I bought this thing used about two years ago. This part right here is my fault. Okay? Well, I bought it. It cranked up and run good. We used a lot first year we bought it. And we didn't use it last year. So it just sat in the shed. It just drained it, all this out. And I had it sitting in the shed. You know what? That's my fault. Trying to get all that gum down there in the bottom loose. What I do is I'll spray it on. Let that sit right there. Get that stuff in the bottom. Get out of there. And I'm going to drop this down in there. And let that sit in there. Check the float out. Float looks pretty good. And then it comes up too. Float looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it be. Yes, it's just breaking off right there. See? It's just breaking all over the place. See that? It's just breaking up. I'm going to get a scraper and scrape that up. And get one. There it is. I told you I'd find it. Somebody moved it. And you know who somebody is? That's Morty. Morty signed it, moved it around. He's always putting stuff where it don't go. Marty thinks he's a Mr. Know-it-all. Tell you what, this thing is a mess. Look at all this stuff on there. Got to cut off. I trim off. There's stuff stuck everywhere on this thing. I know the darn hose look like it's in the way. But not my way. I ain't going to take it off. Fight with it trying to get it off. I'm just leave it on there. What harm is it going to do me? Ain't hurt me none. Blades all broke up. I'm going to have to. Get something else here. Get my blade. Get my blade, man. Get my blade. Get all this scraped off here. I saw that ring I fit on here. Good and tight. I'm going to go put it back on. You know? We got to get these holes open. Golly, Bill. I'm going to have to take that off. I don't want let no air in there, man. We're going to have to clean that somehow. Let's see if we can fill it up.
Check that out, man. That's full of liquid, man. Right there. Can you see it? Can you, I hope I, you see it? I filled it up full of carburetor cleaner. And that's where the gas goes in and comes up here. You know, gas comes in this way. Right here. Gas comes in and comes out this right here. That's where my needle sits at and it comes out that area right there. Now, boy, that is ridiculous. This pool is not even draining out. Lord have mercy, you talking about gum. No wonder it wouldn't run. Hey, you think something crawled up in there? I could do it. Yeah. No, man. This is what I use to clean out a little. This is what I use to clean out little holes and stuff. This right here, and, and, and lawnmower carburetors and small holes. It's got all kinds of size wires and stuff, you know. Little run them up in there. Run it up in there. What is down in there? There's a piece of rubber in there. Where'd that box go? Okay, I gotta get that out of there. I'll put the new one in. How do I get that out? Dang, I just reached down and touched that little seal in there. And it just fell apart.
got it said on the instructions, find a 3 sixteenths. Uh, get you a, something flat, 3 sixteenths. And push the new steel down in the side of that hole. Right there. So I gotta find me a 3 sixteenths. We got a transfer punch. And what I was gonna do is just push it down inside that hole, all the way down there in the bottom. A long way down in there. That's what I'm gonna do. Find a transfer punch, 3 sixteenths transfer. Okay, this with me so I can make sure it fits. Let's see if I can put this thing in there. Okay. Evaporated. I know it don't do it. I was hoping. With no caffeine. Get back to this thing here. Now uh, I cut this off. I uh, gotta get this little red thing here. I ain't gonna put it over in the camera. You see, it's got a grooves on it. And the instructions tell you to put the grooves down, downward. Oh boy, and I got it to be the fat fingers. Well, it fell in there. <laughs> There you go. It's in there. It's a down in there, boys. It's a down in there. Now, let's see. What's that spring for? I don't know. I didn't have it out. I know what the thing is for, and I know what that's for. Okay, let's take this here. Set right there, and I'll take this rod here. And I'll set that there. I saw that somewhere. Where did I see that? That little ring. That ring. Because I that. So, 